out here in the mountaintops of Cascadia, there are two main types of pine trees that you're going to stumble across. Western white pine and white bark pine. Now, both are white pines, which means that they have needles sprouting from fascicles in bundles of five, whereas western white pines tend to have slightly uh, silverish needles that are about two to four inches long with really long cones up to 12 inches long, whereas white bark pines, um, you know, the cones get maybe four inches long and they're shorter, yellowish green needles about one to three inches long. But sometimes you're up in the mountains and they kind of look the same and you're like, what the heck, how do I do it? Well, white bark pines have really smooth needles that rub easily going both ways, whereas western white pines have serrated needles that rub really easily from the branch to the tip of the needle but going backwards it's going to feel rough so that's how you're going to know it's a it's a western white pine um now white bark pines also tend to be the only ones that really exist way up here on the peaks of these mountains because they're super resilient and able to withstand a lot of really cold temps and cold winds often forming what's known as a crumb hole shape which is a german word meaning twisted wood um so these really cool gnarly trees that i find to be really inspiring because it's like you know these trees are out here existing in some of the harshest elements we have here in cascadia and they're just you know keeping on keeping on pretty dang cool white bark pine